<laughs> Seth, turn your phone sideways. Oh, there it is. Hold on. I did. Uh, yeah, hit, ga- did hit gallery. Now. Okay. No, <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs> Seth just hung up. Doing... Nope. There he is. There, there he is. Okay, so this is sideways. Now I can see all three of you. I got Perfect. all three. Okay, good. Who was on the right? <laughs> Luke's below me, and then there's nothing in the bottom right-hand corner. Okay, good. Now we got all set up then. Perfect. All right, so we recorded all that. Luke, why are you sitting in the dark? Uh, well, because when I put the overhead lights on, it's like there's like fucking beams of light coming out of the ceiling. Well, try it. Go put the lights on. It's a bit excessive. <laughs> Look how big he is, Seth. He's like fucking... Fucking huge. He's a fucking animal. Look at him. He can't even walk. Oh, my God. <laughs> So much right. fun. What so you, much fun. What do you weigh right now, you fucking animal? What do you, what do you oh, weigh? Too much. Too much. Are you broke, did you break 310 yet? Uh, I've been 314 in the evening. It doesn't <laughs> count. But being that heavy is pretty... It counts. It counts. Yeah. So it's just I was like waddling around the other day. I was like... <laughs> so we got, <sighs> we got Mr. Seth Ferrosi on the show today. How are you, What's Seth? What's happening? I'm yeah. loving life. I realize that uh, our guests now understand that this show is complete fucking nonsense. Because if you look at our questions for today, they're like the weirdest fucking questions I've ever seen. Uh-oh. So we're going we're gonna to go through some of these. But tell, Seth, tell us what's going on lately, man. What Holidays. are you up to? Yeah? Holidays. Black Friday was really good for the companies. And then, uh, but now it's just fucking kids and <laughs> making sure we don't fuck up with orders and tax season all the fun stuff wait a minute man you forgot the most important thing don't you have a baby on the way oh yeah more kids <laughs> <laughs> so, well, well bro i was uh, what was it like back in september uh i i had to get my shit together and like um and i have to get life insurance because you know life insurance and fucking all the happy-go-lucky shit to make sure that i'm healthy go get my checkups and all this so I like significantly lowered my doses and I didn't feel good and it just, but I had to do it all. Yeah, make sure yeah. I looked good on paper. Yeah, yeah. Well, everything in my body turned back on. So, you, all, oh, everything in your body turned back. I get it. Okay. So, why not yeah. turn back on? And your shit then, was working. Like, it started working because Hannah and I have been together for like two years and I've been hard at it. I was at work <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> And then all of a sudden, like, I didn't change any of my game. I didn't do anything differently. All those things were the same, yeah. except one factor. And that was cleaning my body up and lowering yeah. my test and getting, getting but the I'm physical honestly, and all that shit. I'm honestly shocked that it came back that fast. Bro. You've been you on forever. You've been no, on for- I've been on for a long time. Yeah, so how come, you, how come your shit still works and mine doesn't? Because he's a freak. <laughs> he, look, I mean, I'm not saying you barely try, Seth, because that's, that's <laughs> under it. But to be fair, you look that good, and for looking that good, you do barely try comparatively. Because for everyone else to look that good, it's fucking hard. I'm, you're, I'm, a, uh, you're a freak, I'm, basically. Yeah, I'm, and I'm very genetically gifted. I'll, I'll take that one for sure. And then yeah. my dad's all. My parents had five kids, so oh, I come okay. from a super fertile family. I see. And you know, I mean, I don't know. So how far along? Uh, how far along is she? 13 weeks on Friday. Wait a minute. How did you get life insurance? Didn't they say like you're a, you're a steroid freak? There's no way. <laughs> no, because he doesn't use well, it. I, he looks like that. <laughs> I know, but when they looked at you, they're like, fuck this. Like, there's like no way. No, I, I pay a little bit more. <laughs> pay a little <laughs> bit more. <laughs> but now that I have too, I got too much shit going on to not, to not have anything yeah. in, on paper that's, you know, if I, I mean, cut the bullshit, you know, at the end of the day, like, if something bad happens to me, whether I get hit by a truck, drive too fast in a car, or fucking croak over from a heart attack from hookers and cocaine, yeah. it's still need pay. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So she's 13 weeks. Do you, does that, do you guys know if it's a boy or a girl by then or no? Uh, we go to the doctors on Friday, and then we'll find out. Like They'll schedule the next ultrasound, and I think, I think they say like 18 to 22 weeks is when you find out the baby's sex. So we'll, we're going to find out, but we're going to do a gender reveal. All so right, one, yeah. with... Um, you being one of the busiest mans on the busiest people on the planet, how the fuck are you gonna have a newborn in that as well? I don't know yet. <laughs> well, you know, the, joke, the joke at the office, the joke at the office is like every time, like with with Emmy, whenever I was running around with her, I just like football the fucker, you know, just yeah. put it in the arm and you got it, yeah. and like just go everywhere. Yeah, and pretty much it. It's, you you know, need to it, get one of those like satchels. 
Oh yeah, for Blade sure. Because I had one of those, and it, I was like, it was the coolest thing ever. That's what you need. Like, <laughs> just walking around, you can do everything. You know, you can squat, deadlift, and stuff. And you still got the baby just there. It's fine. I have everything is everything's all mine. So it's like I can take the kid into the gym with me. I can do all this stuff. The first two kids didn't die. They're still alive. Exactly. So this one will not record. die. It That's won't a good go here. Good. good. <laughs> Um, but no, you're good. You got a good team around you though, man. You got like, you know, oh, yeah. Seth has for Luke, Luke probably doesn't know. Seth has uh, three partners and his wife is extremely supportive. So you got oh, a yeah. good, you got a good team around you. That'll, that'll keep you. Oh, fuck. I'm it's, 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 I have no worries. It's just going to yeah. be a baby that screams at night and I'll sleep less for a little bit. It'll be like taking Clen Buter on track. <laughs> Didn't sleep for years. <laughs> It's a good, compar- comes, good comparison. My foot just take trending computer on and just join the party. What? Uh, I didn't see you as being a gender reveal guy. What, what are you going to do for the gender reveal party? I'm, I mean, I'm. Anything it's kind of a, cool, it's kind of a snowflakey thing to do. I didn't think you'd be she's, that. She's a very basic white woman. Okay, <laughs> she wants the whole gender reveal. I'll, it, I'm, the only thing that I'm saying is at least let me blow something up. Yeah. Like. I'm going to put like, we'll put like something out there in the field over there and we'll just shoot it and it'll explode. Perfect. Then that's cool with me. As yeah. long as I get to have some piece in there that's, that's manly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you hoping for? Are you hoping for a boy or a girl? <sighs> I don't I know, know because if it's a boy, then I'm like, great, it's a boy. I get, you know, to have a Seth Jr. But yeah. then if it's a girl, then I'm like, fucking great. Now all I got to do is just put it in gymnastics and we're good. But if it's a boy, then I gotta like take him to baseball, soccer, football, basketball. Figure out what he likes and all that. Maybe. You might be lucky, and he might like gymnastics. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's that's kind of where we're at. It's like I, either way, it's good. I'm I love kids. If they your kids, in. if you if you end up with a boy, are, are you gonna let him be a bodybuilder if he wants to be? Say no. Say no. Say no. <laughs> it's that thing where it's like I uh, I want to say no. I know. But then at the same time, I loved it because it taught me so much about discipline and so much about like just gritting shit out. Yeah. Like this is like 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 Luke being three fourteen. Listen, that is one of the grittiest fucking things you have to do as a bodybuilder. I know. Fucking shoveling the food, eating, and you are you're full bellied fucking training hard as fuck. That's hey, one of the hardest things to do. I've never asked you that, Luke. Are you gonna? You have a son. Are you gonna? If what are you gonna do if he wants to bodybuild? Oh, he's way too clever for that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I will, um, I will, I, his mom will, would hate it um, because she hates it. Um, <laughs> I, I would just be like, dude, you've got a brain. Well, okay, put yes. it this way. He, he's eight and he wants to build his own PC for gaming. Yeah, yeah he's smarter than you. I, I can't do that. Yeah, no. And he's fucking eight. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. so what else is going on seth what's new man nothing i'm loving life i'm uh i'm enjoying everything we we worked really hard with black friday but now we're getting ready we got some more film and some youtube videos this week yeah. i want to get back in shape took off some time with lifting from black friday just because work took you know priority uh other than that just i need to have a goal actually that's my big problem right now. Like everything's going well with the businesses. My business partners, you know, Mike and Pat, they run, they grind this shit. They run day to day. Bob and I are the marketing <clears throat> team. We're the ones that plan everything. But right now, personally, like my biggest struggle is finding a goal. Like I need yeah. something like fucking set me on fire that I need to attain because that's probably the, the hardest mental transition for me <clears throat> not having that physical, the physical goal. Because it's, hard. it's hard when you're not competing. How have you done that for so long? Olympia, what? <laughs> what? <I don't> know. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's been that's been the hardest thing for me mentally. Like whenever I have a goal, like I'm cool with it, but yeah. now like I'm kind of well, like. This is a question I've had for you for quite a while. Is all right. Okay, now now you've kind of opened it up even more by saying you've got kind of like this period of time where you have almost nothing to do, right? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. You know what's coming. <laughs> I know. It's coming. I'm ready. Yeah. You know what's coming. You you look like this basically by accident, and just by just being super consistent at being half asking it, right? Can you might what? <laughs> and then you're looking at the you're looking at the two twelves at the moment. And you're like, hmm, there's a massive gap at the top where I should be. Are you getting on stage? That's what you should do. Do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, bro. It Has it run, even crossed your mind? It still runs through my head because yes. I know it's possible. I know it, it is, is possible, and I know but, as. I know you seem like the kind of guy who's like he, all or nothing. 
And I yeah. feel like you, you've already competed. That's in your blood. And I know you feel like you can do it again, but you will have to do all or nothing. And you've kind of been doing nothing. And now you have a chance to do all. So this is like, <laughs> like, I know, look at him. He's loving it. We like, is it, is it crossing your mind? Is it anything? You're, is it, or are you just, oh, it's too late or I'm too busy or baby. So that's the, that's the, the, the hardest part is, is I am all or nothing. That's why I'm yeah. like, stay, I feel like I'm in a standstill, but like with, with, with bodybuilding, if I do it, I got to win. I ain't going to lose. And that's the all part that would probably take the biggest toll on my, my personal life and me mentally. Like yeah. Fuad and I were talking, like my big thing is, is, I grew a conscience. I just, I think about all the, all the hard parts, all the, all the parts that, that gave me health problems in the past yeah. that like I couldn't really control. Uh, those are the things that like hold me back from it. Like sure. I love trembling more than anything. That was always my number one. But now when I'm there, I'm like, ah. there, there's something that came over me where I, I haven't, I can't take it. I, I think can't so. do it. And I then like, Go ahead. And it's so for me, it's like, you know, I'm, I, I think about it, I dream about it, but then I'm like, is it actually worth it for what I, for, for what I want to do? I don't really, I don't really, I'm not dying to do it. And that's where it's like, if my heart's not all the way in it, I'd hate to go do it and just half ass it. Yeah. Because I, I mean, I, I like being consistent, but I'm not like gung ho into it. Yeah. I think Seth, I like watching I think, it. I think Seth said it best. He Seth has a, I don't know how many of his videos you watch Luke but I watched a few and you have a whole bunch a whole series about being great at a whole bunch of things right yeah, yeah. and I think the point that maybe you're trying to make is it's hard to be great at all those things if you're really really focused on bodybuilding because yeah. if you're really yeah. if you're focused on being Mr. Olympia or even a pro bodybuilder it's almost an obsession that has to take precedence over everything else yeah and I think I think you've, you've kind of passed that. You have so many balls you're juggling that you don't want to just throw them all away to just bodybuild. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and then and I, I don't want to do that. But back to Luke's point about it, he's like, you're kind of standing there doing nothing, searching for something to do. And it's like I have a ton of stuff going on, and, and, and doing it would, would just take precedence yeah. over everything else. Well, I, I mean, completely that, neglect I mean, another it. reason why I asked is I, I know I've joked about you not like you get looking how you are by kind of yeah. not doing it i know that's a joke you obviously you work hard but i mean what you're doing is you eat, <laughs> yeah no but you, you train hard you eat your meals you, that's it right but you're already I'm, kind I'm, of doing it i'm legitimately if i was to go full potential if you asked me what i was doing right now compared to my full potential of being the best fucker that i could be at bodybuilding i'm at like 30 percent yeah, but what you're I mean, a liar. You're, you're, you're still, a, you're, you're, wait a minute. All right. <laughs> wait a minute. You're not a 30%, 30% for real. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You still oh, do cardio. Bro, I don't, you you, you I do eat, cardio I eat daily, three right? Times a day. I you eat three, three times. times a day. Are they good? Are they a good three meals? Two of them are. And are, are they, I, bet I, bet I bet they're the same ones as well. <laughs> they are. Yeah. And I bet you do your cardio and train at the same time every day. I do, I do my cardio every single morning. That's, a, that's a huge one. 30 to 40 minutes and then I train right now I train like I'm I want to get back to five days a week but I was training three days a week and Jesus. you want to get back to five days but it's like yeah. what I mean is like, you're super consistent at all the things that are really important for you to step it up isn't a huge step up because it's not like it's not like you've just been fucking around training once here once there not doing, cardio, nah. doing any meals you've been doing half of it yeah yeah Mm -hmm. You're right. I just I'm just a big fan. I just want to see on stage, so I'm just trying to like eat out. Of I wonder how many. I wonder how many of these emails he gets every day. I know. Oh, we, get say, we get to say it in a really large, well-established podcast in front of everyone. So. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I'm actually, sweating. actually, I want to ask you, <laughs> yeah. Seth. I want to ask you about you your competition history because I've had you on a couple times. We've never actually discussed you were known for getting like ultra fucking shredded. Like when you turned pro and your first yeah. pro win and how, I don't think people know that. Cause I don't know if a lot of your fans now know the competitive Seth. No, uh, I don't think that, I don't think they do either. Keep going. Sorry. So I want to ask you what was, I know you talk about in your food videos, like, Oh, you know, if I'm prepping, I'm going to eliminate this and eliminate that. When you prep, are you like, like when I, when I think of Roman Fritz, I think of like boiled chicken and fucking bland rice. Is well, that, is that you or are you like, can you yep. get away with cutting some corners with like ketchup and fucking this and that and that? 
you don't use any you're just hard strict so so here's the thing that uh whenever i was whenever i was younger like you know i was younger so 25 26 27 you are not the same person that you are when you're mature like that's the one big thing i noticed that 35 years old like being consistent like luke said shit my skin's different. My muscles are different. I respond different. My glutes look different. My, the, the way I hold water, everything looks different. Yeah. Back then, being young, my skin took forever yeah. to like just start to form into what it needed to be because I just held water like crazy. Sodium affected me, and it, it was nuts. Yeah. So whenever I was six weeks out, that's whenever Hani started torturing me. Yeah. That's when it was like, okay, dude, like he's like, no more fucking, I don't, you don't need ketchup on your shit. If anything, you're using a little bit of mustard, this and that, and I would salt my food. Like yeah. I'd pinch a little bit, that's all I would get, so it was consistent, so everything worked regularly with water. But in order for me to get shredded, fuck, dude, it was like I remember. fish, little bit of salt, little bit of pepper, maybe some mustard, and that's it. I remember so reading an article. Sorry, Fred, you go. No, no, go ahead, Luke. Well, I, I remember reading an article. So when I got ready for my first show, I think I, I used to watch quite a lot of your videos at the time because I think you, you had a cover with MD and you had an mm-hmm. article after you won. Was it you won with Cedric? Which show did you and Cedric do? Yeah, Nationals with Cedric. Nationals, yeah, yeah nice. I remember you having the spread in the inside as well, both of you. Yep. And I remember some, I remember you, there was a quote in there. I can't remember who said it to you or you said it to them. Um, you were backstage, and they were all. T- he was somebody was talking about how hard they worked, and then you stripped down, and they're like, "Damn, no, 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 you worked really fucking hard." That was, and I, and I read. I think it was like your your wife or something. You were talking about how many, like, how much laundry you had to, you had to do because the amount of cardio you were doing, how much you were sweating. What were, and then I watched a lot of your videos, and I was like, "Right, that's the that's what it takes to get fucking shredded." It's what were you doing? What was your cardio? Would yeah, get that, that shredded. The- that comment that you made that was from tamer tamer al good was it yeah yeah Yeah, because i remember because honey would tell me because i went and saw the usa's in 09 Mm -hmm. and honey's like that's the hardest fucking worker you'll ever see yeah and i was like okay (laughs) and then i found out he was doing nationals too and i'm like okay so every time i'm tired or feel like crying i was like that motherfucker's gonna be eating my lunch yeah. And uh, so uh, then, then whenever I stripped down, like I saw him, I mean, his glutes were shredded standing there. And I'm like, yeah. fuck me. I don't know if I look like that. Stripped down and he's looked at me and he says, he's like, bro, he's like, I never seen somebody look like that. And I'm like, yeah. oh, man. Yeah, but yeah. for that show, uh, at 10 weeks out, I was pretty thick. And Hani's like, two a days are going to start. Yeah. So at 10 weeks out from, the, from nationals, I was doing 45 minutes AM cardio fasted. And then 45 minutes of PM cardio after my fifth meal, about an hour after my fifth meal, I was doing 45 minutes and then I have my last meal, go to bed, all that. You know what and I, I find, trained, trained midday. You know what I find strange? That was exactly my setup when I used to get the most shredded. I would do the morning empty and then I would do the one at night and then my last meal of the day had no carbs in it. So I'd yep. go, to, go to bed basically burning all night long and that was the Fucking way. Fucking starving. Yeah, that's right. But starving. What do you think? You know, it's funny. You talk about hardworking motherfuckers all the time and you have all these people that follow you. I don't think they know that you did that because a lot of people scoff at the two a day, 45 minute cardios and the fucking fish diets and all that. I hear people scoffing at that all the time now. Like, oh, you don't got, you don't got to eat fish. You don't got to do cardio. You don't got, and I'm like, that's fucking, that shit works. You fucking have to. But I don't, you need to talk about that more because everybody looks up to you. And I don't think people realize that's how you got the most shredded. So we were, were, they all realize you're still doing to this day, one of those sessions every day. (laughs) (laughs) What I mean is somebody somebody just said something. Somebody just said something. They were talking about, uh, it was, I saw Cutler and Cutler had made a comment about him doing AM cardio. And he was like, every day, every day he was talking about it. I'm like, motherfucker is, Fasted AM cardio is what built me and still keeps me in shape yep. to this day. Me too. Like it's, yep. it sucks. But yep. like, I'm like, if I don't wake up and do it, like I do it for mental, but I also do it to like look good and feel good. I wonder if a lot of these science guys, you know, I, cause I hear so many people these days say, no, you don't need to do it fasted. The studies, so you don't need to do it fasted without bullshit. Yeah. I think you're kind of, they, they're gonna, they're gonna, I mean, I, I've tried it both ways and fasted is definitely better. Cause they don't just look at you and it's quite obvious that it fucking works. But even if it doesn't work, even if the scientists are right, it's mentally way better. Like I love 
doing cardio <laughs> on an empty stomach. I feel so much better when I'm done. And I actually get like a mental clarity from it. Oh, that yeah. I, that do you I don't feel it definitely. Do you not feel it's not even up for debate that it definitely works better in your opinion? Well, my anecdotal opinion, yeah, I think you. I mean, from what, yeah, from your, yeah, you've tried and tested. yeah, I've tried both, yeah, and but I just, for me, more importantly, is my sanity. Like I have such a, a mental clarity from doing morning cardio that I wouldn't do it any other way. I wouldn't do it. I I don't, I would don't feel good doing it after eating. You both do your cardio at home, right? Yeah. Oh, I go to the gym. I'll do. I'll and do actually, it. since the last time I talked to Seth, I've been going a lot faster. There you go. Because I really <laughs> well, just my next thing was my next thing was I'm talking to two dudes that are notorious for fucking working their nuts off. Yeah. Like you want to make it hard. Like my whole goal, whenever I heard like Tamer, like that that story, whenever I heard Tamer say that or Honey say that's the hardest working fucking dude I ever worked with, and I'm like, okay. Like so that means I gotta wear my big boy pants every single day because in bodybuilding, it's 24-7, 365. Everybody knows it. So yeah. that dude every day will be like, I have to work harder than the person I don't see. Yeah, I and that's how I looked at every cardio session. That's how I looked at everything. And I'm like, I got to fucking work harder and I have to make it harder because nobody's thing. there cheering me on. Yeah, but like, oh, Seth. For me, I always felt like, cause I do the step mill. I always felt like just getting my heart rate up is enough until me and you spoke. And I'm like, maybe he's right. Maybe just getting my heart rate to 121 yeah, but, is not remember, enough. Do you remember the video you did? With the back with Cutler, and then you did legs straight away with yeah. Yeah, I remember that, that fucking video. Oh my god, I was that shocked. Show, if I, that if I, that if that doesn't show people what a fucking animal you are, I, I could just, not believe you. Did you squat four plates that day? I, I Lavroni tried to make me do it, and then he's like, then he realized he's like, nope, this is where you're gonna hang, and I'm gonna torture you. Phil, so Heath, it, was, Phil Heath was looking on, and he looked at me, and he said, "You're a fucking idiot." I'm like. I need to get famous somehow, Phil. And he's like, I don't even know how you're doing this. <laughs> After trading back, are you fucking crazy? Did you did you eat in between? Oh fuck, dude, no. It was legitimately back to back because like, we had the, we had. The, Honey's like here. He handed me a shake full of EVP and like seventy five grams of fucking glycojack, and he's like, yeah. just drink this. And he's yeah. like, and then we got shit to do. And I'm like, and keep all right, going. keep wow. going. You must have felt like dog shit the next day. I felt like the truck hit me. That yeah. night, I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there in the table. And I'm like, man, I'm like fucking, man, I'm all fucked up. And Lebroni's <laughs> just sitting there. Drinking, he was drinking vodka. This is when he was tiny, you know. He wasn't yeah. back. And he's like, he's like, that was so much fun today. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> he didn't do anything. <laughs> <Great time, dude." laughs> what did he make you do? Uh, we did. We just did squats. Just That's did it. squats. He said, you're going to do squats until you puke everywhere. Did you and puke? So. I puked, but uh, it was like, so I just kept squatting and laying down. Then he'd be like, time to get up. I'd get back up. I'd do squats. I'd lay back on the ground, get back up and keep doing squats. And then, um, you know, he's just going and I'm like, I'm just continuing to go until like they say do something else. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I don't know. I can't remember how many sets we got. But my thing was, I was like, if I say fucking I can't do any more to that's a fucking right. bodybuilding legend, yeah. I'll never hear the end of it. No, that's right. So, so what? Um... then I puked and he cleaned it up. Nice. <laughs> he did. He's cleaning my puke up, and I'm like, no, no, don't do this. Stop. So what's going on? I know we talked about you doing some eating challenges. What's going on with that? You know, I'm always excited about that shit. So uh, we, so I need to see because I watched the eating challenge that you did, and I watched the people on there. I'm gonna go eat, uh, and at at work at the office, uh, everybody says like, you know, they'll be like, oh, well, I can eat this many or Chick-fil-A sandwiches or this or that. And I watched you do four pound burger and I'm like, I mean, I like to eat. <laughs> so my thing is, I'm like, all right, I'm going to see. I think me personally, I think I could eat five, four, five guys doubles. Which is what? <laughs> how, many yeah, pounds, how many pounds are those? I think each one, each, each burger the burgers are four ounces a piece. You can eat so it's so like I think a half a pound, a pound, half a pound, half a pound burger. Yeah. But it's like the, that's the meat. I don't know what the buns and all that. So I want to go wait, but just me eyeballing it. I think I could eat four of them. I think yeah. you could eat four of those for sure. Uh, uh, the way the reason I know you can is because I've done that and I've done it more than once. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's not. It's pretty hard, and I know you can do that. Looks like it's my regular cheat meal. <laughs> it's every week. <laughs> <laughs> last winter, last winter, whenever I was putting on weight, you know, I got up to close to 250 and every, every week I'd have a cheat meal and I'd either do like two five guys burgers because they're a thousand calories a piece. So I'd go eat yeah. two of them and have a dessert. Yeah. I'm like, all right, like I'm eating two pretty comfortably. 
was like, I yeah. could definitely get three. And like probably four is four, maybe five. So I don't think that's a good enough challenge. It's only two pounds of meat. I don't know. If and, you- and a large fries. Because in five oh, guys, God, damn, that's, that's a lot of fries. That's a lot of fries. Yeah. <laughs> so Reagan, so so, gotta, go ahead. No, I'm just, my thing is I, uh, uh, we want to do it. So that's, that's on our list of things to do early next week on the, uh, on our YouTube videos because we're filming one today okay. and then we're going to do an eating. We're going to do the eating challenge next week. Can I ask you a question about YouTube? Because I, I recently started being more active on YouTube. Yeah. Do you ever feel like you're running out of fucking ideas? Yes. Is it hard? That's like, I don't... Is it Bob that comes up with the content or you guys just kind of brainstorm back and forth? No, it's usually me and Shaner. I mean, we all have yeah. our inputs about it. We all watch yeah. the YouTube and see how it works. But like, yeah. okay, so me personally, I fucking hate the, they're called clout chasers. What's that? We're like, <laughs> there you go, boomer. <laughs> so uh, a clout chaser is whenever you use somebody else's content in your video. Like you'd say, I'd be like, I'd like do a video. And then like, all I'm doing is going to blast you in the video. Oh, Cause you're more yeah, famous yeah. than I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then they just talk shit and then they just try to get a rise out of it. And it's like a negative way to build content and yep. people love it cause they love drama. Yep. I hate that. I'd rather like us just have content together. You know yep. what I mean? Like all the yep. fun stuff. Like, yeah. So there's people, there's a lot of people that do that on, on, on YouTube and yeah. I kind of hate it, but well, no, that's what, that's what a lot of people got famous off for rich piano like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's so many rich piano videos that are like rich is nowhere near the video. The guy doesn't even know fucking rich, but in the title it says rich piano, blah, blah, blah. And, and it's got, talk shit on and it. it's got a couple hundred thousand views. It's just a guy talking shit about rich piano. It, it's cool. If you're talking good, <laughs> yeah. I don't have a problem if you're talking good about yeah, it. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I hear you. So you don't have, you don't feel like you have, you don't struggle too much. Um, well, we don't, we don't put out a ton of content. We'll put out a video or two a week. And that's why I don't want I think to overload. That's a, I think that's a lot, man. That is a lot. It's a lot. I mean, that's why we, I mean, the guys, they're always at work with stuff, whether for Instagram with the other people on the team or, uh, or us, but it's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff. But my well, thing is, like I said, I don't want to put it out. I don't want to put out like a bunch of bullshit. Like the ones I love doing are the whiteboards where I teach people stuff like, yeah. Hey, look, this is, this is legitimately how I would take. If you had a weak upper chest, this is what I'm telling you to fucking do. Yeah, that's a cool video. I saw that. It's good. You with like a fucking whiteboard and a marker? Yep. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, it's, it's, you know, how many questions do you get a daily at the fucking gym? Like, because on, it, on, on everything, you want to educate people, but you also got to entertain everybody. It's one of the great parts about your fucking podcast with you two. It's yeah. nonsense, but it's funny as fuck. It's entertaining. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. So what are you doing? You're going to do four, four or five guys burgers. I'm going to do, I'm, um, my goal is four, but if I can get five, I'm going to push for five because mm-hmm. I'm going to take my scale and see how much money, how much they weigh. That way, it's like, oh, like you did the four pound burger challenge. The bur- was the burger four pounds or was the, the whole bun and the everything? Meat. The, meat. the meat, the meat was four pounds. The meat was four pounds. It's not including the bun or the fries. <laughs> yeah. Here's a, here's a tip for you with the uh, the burgers. Make sure each one is different in terms of the toppings and sauce. I got a better tip for you. Eat as fast as you can. Yeah, I know, but you're still going to get taste fatigue. That, so I, oh, my God, dude. You know how bad my taste, taste, you know bad my taste fatigue was when I you ate that? You both knew exactly what I meant then. I'm pretty sure I've made that up. <laughs> it makes sense. It's perfect. It makes right? sense. So that's why I'm saying make sure each one tastes a little bit different so you're not bored. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. But eat them fast because after like the 15-minute mark, you're just going to go like this. Don't you find that Chinese food is the worst for taste fatigue? Yeah, it all tastes the same. I'm, like, I'm going to eat so much fucking Chinese food, like with two bowls in. I'm like, you know what? You know the I one time I, can, you know the one time I can remember that happened to me. I ate uh, all you can eat crab, all you can eat oh, king, yeah. all you can eat king crab at uh, Red Lobster, and I fucking after well, like two pounds, I'm like, this is fucking. It just tastes the same. Like every bite tastes the same. Everything. I'm like, fuck this. I couldn't do it anymore. Yeah, it's like going to an all you can eat restaurant having just fries, but you can have yeah. as many. so listen okay so hold on so hold on luke what is your typical like your 314 how do you get to 314 with the cheat meals because like uh well i have one almost every day but they're not excessive it'll just be like sometimes i'll just order two burgers but i won't fill them with cheese and bacon and shit i'll make them relatively cleanish just because i don't because if i have too much junk i feel shit 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. But really, it's just my training's been really heavy, low volume, and just eating. I, I don't, if I'm not hungry at all, like I'm stuffed, I won't eat. If I'm, oh, really? So you, if, I'm, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm not in the mood to eat, but, I'm not, but my stomach's not distended at all, I'll eat. So okay. I kind of. So I, I, I personally have a, a, a similar thought whenever I was gaining weight. I was close to 250 last year, just seeing if I still had it. And I took that. I was like, so I still ate a ton, but if I wasn't hungry, I wasn't force feeding. Yeah. I but always, had, but that's weird. I always had to force feed when I got to 300. I'm still force feeding, but it's not like I won't just eat more rice. I'll have like a couple of rice crispy squares instead. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it's not, the, it's not yeah. an amazing approach, but it's just I don't want to. It's more I don't want the volume. No, but it's well, like it's it what works. But it's like we talked about. You have your base diet, and then sometimes you have shit on top of yeah, your base diet. Yeah, a lot diet. of people say, "Well, just make your base diet more rice." And it's no, like, well, you have no. to run into things like digestion, and it's not just digestion that's an issue. It's like distension. I don't want to spend six months of the year my fucking belly out. Yeah, like, yeah, no, and it's head to too in. mentally. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so, so how Reagan, many calories do you eat a day? Uh, it's probably only about five. It's not a oh. huge amount. <laughs> five Maybe. is pretty. Five is normal for a guy your size. Yeah, I mean, it's, just, there. It, it, it's it's not like insane. It's pretty hard to eat, but it's not crazy. Are there days um, when you have to go bigger, like leg day or back day or anything? Yeah, those days are the days I'll usually have uh, cheat meals, and I train quads and hamstrings separately, and I do heavy RDLs with back day. So that's three days a week where I have a big shit meal. <laughs> oh boy! And and a meal out of my kids on a Sunday, so four times a week. <laughs> yeah, but you need it, man. Oh, you're right, it's a whole week. Your yeah. amount of size, dude. I remember being three hundred pounds. You can't. Well, I shaved. I shaved my entire body yesterday. It took fucking ages, and there was more, the hair I left on the floor was bigger than my dog. You didn't actually. You didn't actually shave with a razor, did you? No, no, no. I got like a yeah, the trimmer. Yeah, the trimmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got it just sitting right there. You got it just sitting on your dinner table. Is that what you got? It? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Why is your shaver on the dinner table? Uh, to remind me to buy new blades for it. Oh, okay, okay. Because so, it's in the it's in the kitchen, man. I've got a big like dining area with. So I actually did it in here in front of the big mirror. But listen, going back to going back to your five thousand calories, you have to, and you have to have the cheat meals. Because I remember at three hundred pounds, if I missed one fucking meal or I tried to eat clean one day, I'd be lighter the next day. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, it's true. And the other thing is as well. Um, what, this is what I was saying about the shaving. I was like fucking disgustingly hairy. Um, so I shaved it all off yesterday and I was n- not as fat as I was expecting to be. <laughs> yeah, that's always a, that's always which was a really thing, nice surprise. I'm going to do pictures tomorrow for Chris and I, hopefully he's not like, you're a fat cunt. <laughs> <laughs> See, I always hate trimming in the off season. So I'm always like, eh, well, I, I, start my prep, I start my prep in like two or three weeks. I know, but I'm saying like when I don't trim, I'm like, I don't look too bad. And then if I trim all the hair off my stomach and shit, I'm like, oh, just this well, soft. My- Shitty my, my my ab style, my uh, like ab hair was so thick and dense it started forming into the shape of abs. yes yeah, yeah that's what and I like thick <laughs> I mean it was it, I had to start like blow drying it out the shower but it wasn't, it, it wasn't um bad. did you guys see Seth uh, or not Seth uh, Reagan did uh, twelve a dozen donuts in five minutes I think I can crush that how big was his face afterwards. I don't know. He's probably he's always got, he's always got basketball. Well, that's face, what I mean. Like, like, the was like whoa! It's like a mine. My, I know mine would. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing it. I think I can do it in half the time. Yeah, Krispy Kreme donuts are small, man, and they're soft. You can just like. Is that what he was eating? Yeah. <laughs> don't do that again on air. Sorry, no. <laughs> <laughs> just they just go right down. They just, uh, they just go right, right in the mouth. Uh, <laughs> right in the throat. I feel like they could just go in there. That's the problem. Uh, so you reckon you could do it in two and a half minutes? I th- they're small fucking donuts, man. I think I could fucking honestly crush like a whole bunch at once. Taste fatigue. Nah, not two and a half yeah. minutes. You can't well, I, I guess if you, them all, if you made them all differently, different ones. Yeah. But then what happened? You'd be like halfway through and you'd get, and you'd be like, oh, this is fucking easy. And you'd hit like a, dense cream one and you're like ah. <laughs> and it'll slow you down so there was much. no cream there was no cream filled ones i'm not doing that shit so i don't like i don't like the cream filled ones so um no i think i can do it i think you should do it and i think you should do it i, I think fucking you- hate donuts really who hates donuts that's like the first time i've ever heard that you hate here's a, here is here is a fact about donuts what? this is literally a fact 
They're not as good as everyone makes out, but they are pretty good. Okay. They're That's always a little bit disappointing. What's the fact? That they're always disappointing? Yes. I agree. I agree. Have you ever had a donut? You're looking so, you're like, ah, oh, this looks fucking amazing. When you look at a Krispy Kreme, I'm like, oh, I'd literally fuck that if I could. It yeah. looks that good. And you eat it and you're like, oh, that was right. No, I actually You're never really, like, oh my God, it's so fucking good. I actually have done like, that. Oh, that's all right. No, I always am like, this is amazing. Oh, you're a donut guy. Yeah, I'm a totally right. donut guy. Well, maybe okay. it's not a fact. And maybe I, I did make it up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we got, a, we, got a whole, we got 230 questions here, so we should probably get oh, some. Fuck. Oh, Jesus. Because Seth is here. You probably want to hear Seth's uh, response to some of these. I'll say something fucked up. That's why I got I want to ask you. <laughs> um, actually, here's a normal one. What's your guys' opinion of Nick's strength and power? Seems to be somewhat controversial. Um, I've done two series with him. Yeah. So, so I'm, I may be biased, but I really like his channel. What and do you think, Seth? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry, Luke. Go ahead. I'll tell you why I like his channel. I liked it anyway before I – and I'm also friends with Nick now. He's a great guy. But I always just thought he's, he never bitches. Yeah. He just, he's, he's got a great kind of, it's not a monotone voice, but it has no, like, um, it's not a motive. So it doesn't sound like he's ever being sarcastic or pissing on anyone. He just says it how it is, puts it in a nice way, displays it well, gets the point across, easy, easy to watch. To me, so he's good. To me, he's kind of like the news. He doesn't. He is. He is. That's what that which, he is. Which I don't mind at all. I think he's actually great. That's what he's, I've never, he's, he's better than the news good. because he legitimately doesn't. The only thing that he chooses over other things is his sponsorship, which is Redcon. Yeah, but yeah. he even told people why he likes Redcon. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. It wasn't even he in one of his videos, because I watched the shit out of it. Like, I'm pretty in tune. I stay up to date with bodybuilding. Yeah. And he's one of the outlets that I do. But he does, like, real journalism, like, yeah. in my opinion. Like, yeah. nothing. He, he's very, like you said, like, not monotone, but monotone. Yeah. And then on top of that, the dude's just straightforward. He just kind of tells it as it is whenever, like, Phil Heath was giving him shit. Whenever all the people were, he's like, I just wanted to do an interview because the fans like it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, the dude has, what, almost a million followers on? Yeah. Or does something like uh, that. Last time, I saw, la last time I saw it was like four or 500,000, but it could be way more. I don't know. I know oh, he's really, I think it's like eight, nine. Really, eh? Yeah, that's but he, yeah, but, but he is also just a really, really cool guy. And yeah. he's super, yeah, I met him. He's yeah. a super good dude. But then on top of that, like I said, even with his sponsorship, he's like, I wanted to pick a company that would take me to places that I personally couldn't get to. And I'm like, there you go, bro. Yeah. That's the right company. He did the things the right way. He's pretty, I like it. Yeah. All right. Let me, let me get this question in. Daniel 94 says, have you ever had a chick come by you in the gym and start flirting and ask if she can touch your muscles and shit like that? And if so, how did you react? This guy's, this guy thinks bodybuilding's like chicks like it. Obviously fucking not. We've heard That's my so team stories. What the fuck are you talking about? No. When I'm training in the when I'm training in the gym, especially when I'm in really good shape, girls, if I train near girls, I'm, 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 they're either what the fuck, or, they, yeah. or I stink. Because they <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> like, oh. My nuts, you'll be able to smell my nuts when we're doing in front of Like, legs are spread open, you're fucking up. Ah. It's about like, like I've seen you tra train for that. You look like something out of fucking Lord of the Rings. Why? Because um, you're like. <laughs> <laughs> The whole way through, no woman's gonna come up to that and be like, "Give me some of that." <laughs> and that's so like, good. Fucked up, and we all look probably really horrible and aggressive. Like, and we're gonna backhand her. That's what we look like. You ever trying. wonder? You ever wonder how you see yourself versus how other people see you? Oh yeah, because I don't see I don't see myself like that. I think I look like athletic and I'm training hard, and I don't think I feel like I look no, the way you, you said. Well, you've got a real fucking face on you, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then when you train. <laughs> <laughs> it's like amped right up. So there's like real reality, and then there's what's in my head. Have you seen like, the one? Did you, the no, did you see my last YouTube video of me being functional? Yes, the jumping on the on the, yeah. on the thing. I thought I was athletic looking. I look back <laughs> and watch it. No, definitely not. It's pretty right? athletic. You got up there though. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. I thought I was, but like you ever like see, twenty pounds I, I, and two twenty three? Do you ever watch videos of yourself and and you just like you look really fucking weird? Like, yeah. because when I, like, I just think everyone yeah. hates their own voice. Their own oh, yeah. No one likes the back of their own head. Like, you know, just <laughs> shit like that. And I think when you see yourself in videos, you, all you see is that shit that you never ever see. So you don't even know that about yourself. When you see yourself from the back walking away, that's the weirdest fucking thing you'll ever see. And I, like, that's a tough oh. one. I think we need to do a service for all the young guys coming up. 
girls are not going to come touch your muscles. No. They don't, they're, don't stay. If that's what you want, stay at 200 pounds. Mm-hmm. Stay like, stay like 180, 200 pounds. And then girls will come by and touch your muscles. If you get to be like, you'll be like mid, you'll be like mid off season. You'll be like, yeah, da, da, da. And they'll be like, Oh, can I see your abs? And you're like, yeah. <laughs> well, they can see mine because they're made out of hair. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that doesn't, doesn't happen. All right. Um, do you guys want to get a serious one in or a shitty sure. one? Just get you pick. You'll do the host. All right. So Nick Hannah Fit says thoughts on organic grass fed wildcard meats and whether it's worth the added cost. Depends on whether you're taking the, the you're using that product due to its fat content as well. If you're not, wouldn't bother. If you are, it, it might be worth spending the extra money. You want to go ahead, Seth, and I'll answer after. Uh, I agree with him on that there. And also like cost effectiveness of your life. Like how much money do you actually make? Like me, when I was broke as fuck and had nothing, I still turned pro eating fucking Walmart meat. Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm talking from the perspective that it's not the money's not a problem, it's just what's better. You're both yeah, right. I mean, if the money, if you have, like right now, money isn't an issue for me. Like I'm, uh, I, I'm able to purchase higher end meats. Fuck yeah, I do. Yeah. I purchase would you, would you do the same with, like, Would you get the same with white fish and chicken? Because I personally wouldn't, because I don't, I trim them all, they're very lean. I don't need the fat from it really. So, In my opinion, it comes down to health though too. If you're worried about, if we're, you're worried about a lot of inflammation and a lot of different health aspects of it, you're better off getting wild caught food. If you're talking about if you're talking about just bodybuilding, then just you can eat a fucking can of well, tuna the, and you're going to be fine. From my understanding, the reason why I said like the fattier meats, then I would definitely opt for that option. Oh no, so no, I, I understand. I like because from what from what I've been told, I could be wrong. The animals store it shit, like the, the shit that you're talking about, like the toxins and yeah. in their fat, not in the muscle. So if you're so if you're eating something that has almost no fat, like they run shits on tilapia. But I'm talking. But I'm talking about. I'm not talking. Well, tilapia is different because tilapia swims in around in its own in a farm, in a pool of its own no, shit. I no, I understand. So the meat, the meat is made of what it's eating. You understand? No, I understand. But I'm saying it's not just the fat. It's not just. No, the I fat. know. I'm just using it as yeah. an example. Like, so they, they, if it was like salmon, we're getting from that same condition. The, you can the fat in that would be just terrible. No, no, but I'm saying the meat itself. It's not just in the fat. It's in the tissue of the the muscle as well. So if I'm gonna eat, if I'm worried about my health, I'm not talking about bodybuilding. I'm not talking about putting on muscle. If I'm worried about my health more than anything, I want a wild caught fish and I want a grass fed cow and I want. Of course. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I understand what you're saying. But Which I, I think, would agree with that. But, but I think we're all right. We're all right in different yeah. ways. You're, if I'm looking for fat content, yeah. then yeah, I want a grass-fed cow so I can get the omega threes from the. And the other thing cow. is as well, if you're if you're kind of if you're in the way where you're wealthy enough to eat whatever you want, you're likely going to be shopping in places that only would stock the most yeah. highest quality foods anyway. You know, surprisingly, in my neighborhood anyway, it's really hard to find grass-fed beef. Is it, well here it isn't because everything's grass fed here. Like I had to buy, I had to, I had to go to the local farm and buy a half a cow. Where a I quarter, really had that. Yeah, well, I bought it with Paul. We split it, and uh, I got a quarter cow, and he got a quarter cow. But we could, but that way we know where it's coming from. How, it's how much meat did you get from that, by the way? Um, I don't remember the exact weight, but he got like six months out of it. I got like four. You say it's roughly like 300, 400 pounds, I think. Yeah, I think I could go through that in three or four months. Yeah, that yeah, sounds sounds about right. I, I don't yeah. remember the yeah, exact weight we got. Depends on the size of the cow and everything. Yeah. but yeah, roughly. So what do they that. do with it? Do they cut it into the specific steaks? Whatever you, you want, you, you cut it whatever. It so we paid nine hundred bucks. We paid yeah. nine hundred bucks, and uh, they That's cut. That's not what, bad at all. No, no, yeah. it's not. So, but we got whatever you want, and I said I want mostly all ground beef. I want some steaks because I don't do a lot of grilling. I do a lot of ground beef stuff. Mm-hmm. I want all ground beef and I want some steaks and that's what I got. He got some roasts and some other shit, but they'll cut they'll cut whatever you want. I would have said make it all into sausages. <laughs> 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 Fucking Brits. <laughs> um okay, I'll get to a stupid one. So Nate this is this is fucking ridiculous. Nate M O S S says, Would you rather drink two liters of piss or two liters of sweat? Oh sweat. Sweat? No, no piss. Who's sweat? <laughs> no, I'm not I'd rather that drink that. the piss. I'd rather drink the piss. You'd rather ah. drink the piss? Yeah. I'm gonna vomit just thinking about either side. Seth, I'm open sad. Seth, open your open your phone, Seth, and go to my go to my profile. Do you have your phone with you? Oh, you're yeah. using your phone. Oh, forget it. You can't. You can't. No, you can't. You're not you're using your phone. Okay, forget it. Yeah. So you think you do the two two liters of sweat? Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I don't think I can. You're, you asked which one I would rather try. I don't fucking think I could do either one of them. There's no fucking way. 
I'll like try something if, you, if it's like life or death. But but you if know, you had to, it'd be the sweat. I'm not drinking your piss. <laughs> no. All right. Um, okay. So in previous podcasts, Luke mentioned growing through training and not through food. And of course, not gear. Can he develop? I don't know what that means. Like, here's the thing with that. Like, guess what, everybody? When it comes to being a pro bodybuilder, you have to do all fucking three. Yeah. Well, I think it's, Luke it's, was. I think Luke was talking in our previous podcast that you don't. You don't have to keep increasing food. You can set it at a certain amount and then let the training make you grow. Uh, what'd you do? Yeah, absolutely. I agree one hundred percent. If you're in a calorie surplus, you're in a calorie surplus. You get your protein. Because, you get your protein, and surely. Well, you, somehow we're all relatively intelligent from a scientific standpoint without being fucking scientists. If you're running an experiment, you keep two factors the same and change the one in the middle. This factor, you'll see how much it can change with you. If you keep the training and the food the same and change your fucking gear protocol, you'll see if the gear, how much of an effect it has on that. If you change your gear protocol, but keep the food and the training the same, you'll see how, what, indi- what factors change that. That's a science experiment. Yeah, like that to me is like it's a science experiment, but it's also somewhat bro science because we're not scientists. It was a common um, sense. <laughs> yeah. I this, thought this, it this. was, but apparently other people it takes forever uh, wow. to figure out. Look at this question. Uh, if each of you had a child with Shanique Grant, who would end up being the better bodybuilder? <laughs> Did you, no, you guys didn't hear it? Yeah, I'm no, I'm just, that, I'm, I'm just thinking mm-hmm. about um, what it would look like. Well, I think... Luke I'm not having sex with anybody except Hannah. I'm not admitting to it. I'm not saying I'm going gonna, to. Seth's going to get in trouble. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm not, so. yeah, she, I'm not having sex with nobody. No, 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 I'm not like no, having no, sex with myself no, no, it's, anymore. It's artificial insemination. There's no... There's no, <laughs> there's no, like, there's no, there's no, there's no adultery story. here. There's no adultery here, Seth. Not Seth's this like, fuck you. I'm married. I'm not getting in trouble. Not, I didn't I'm fuck anybody. <laughs> I don't right, even so, masturbate anymore. So th- there's no turkey based thing going on. There's none of that. Okay, just, I have to ask you this question. It's just honestly. genetically, the genetic 50 50, which is more of a freak. Go. Okay. Well, I think, oh. I think Luke is going to have the best bodybuilder. Yeah. Because now you have Shanique's shape, which is insane. Yeah. So, but, but you have your size. And if you put yeah. that, you got like a neck, the next Ronnie Coleman. Yep. But better looking. What, do you think there'll ever be a Ronnie Coleman? <laughs> Again, not that not, no, I'm not saying he's going to come back as himself after he dies. I mean, is, it, is there going to be anyone else that's like that? Not until the cycle of the tiny waist goes away again. No, because, because he's way, like, I'm talking like early 2000, like the 2003, that kind of time. When I don't think, I don't, honest, this might waste. sound really, this might sound really stupid to people. I don't think our drugs are as good as they used to be. I completely disagree. <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> That's fine. You can disagree. I don't. I don't. I just but I, don't. Well, may, well, maybe it's because you're in Canada and I'm in the UK. No, maybe it's because I used them in the early 2000s and I use them now and they're not the same. But possibly, but then you are older and you're less responsive than you would have used No, no, been. but this is even from 2000, 2010, even from 20 really? to 30. Yeah. Because I would, I believe it's like these days, it's, it, you know, it's 20, almost 20 years later. Why, why would the drugs be worse? Because I don't think that people just forgotten how not, to make them. They're not being sourced and produced by a fucking pharmaceutical company. It's like the same reason why underground GH and pharmacy GH is night and day. I Under- don't think that, I don't okay. think there's anybody out there. Like Ronnie Coleman was a freak, like period. Yeah. Like think about how strong the dude was before he even started taking gear. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, not saying it's because of the gear. I'm just saying it's like, no, oh no, I don't think that, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Some was it really, back in the day was, was really that much better back then for it to make a difference. I feel like it was, Damn, man. So they're really good. They're really, really? Good. dude. Yeah. I feel like I feel like the anadrol, <laughs> the fucking testosterone amps, the like everything just fucking hit you a lot harder, man. It's like but it's, I, I, but I feel that's how it is. Yeah, yeah I no, mean, I don't. I, I don't, and I haven't for a long time. Weird. But it, why I'm was why is that so weird to you? If you took underground GH and you took pharmacy GH, you would see a difference. I yeah, I just started taking farm grade GH past like 
I don't really months. notice a difference massively. You don't notice a difference? Not hugely, no. Then your Very underground then your underground GH must be absolutely amazing because it's, it's Ansimone. So it's made in a it's made in a in China. I've used a, I've used Ansimone. I don't think it's that good. I thought I can't tell the difference, honestly. What far, <laughs> what pharmacy GH have you used? Most of them. And you can't Get see a difference? Get the fuck out of here. You're no, full of maybe, shit. I don't There's know. no way. It's way better. I don't yeah. know. I, I, I'll, tell, I'll tell you why I don't. I think it's because, I think it's because when I use uh, the underground stuff in the past, yeah. I've yeah. used more because that's what everyone's told me to do. Yeah. And when I've used pharma, I've used less. So, so, you're using, so you're using the same amount? So I might be using like, say I'll use yeah. eight Antimone versus four pharma. Yeah. 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 Maybe that's what I haven't noticed. My possibly. personal opinion, even at that dose, I would still feel more on four pharmacy. Yeah. Well, I haven't run underground stuff for like three years. So, yeah. yeah. That's pretty, I can't remember. Anyway, that. you know what? Seth is right, though. It had, it's not really the gear because Ronnie was a freak. I don't think we're ever going to see it. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I think me. we will. I think Kai Green was pretty close. Because like when I even I think he has the best legs of all time. When Kai far. when Kai got big enough to be in the Ronnie Colm realm, Ronnie Coleman realm, he was he had already thickened his waist out to where he didn't have when you think of Ronnie Coleman ninety eight, ninety nine, yeah. the closest oh. thing closest thing I've seen to that is Rami, but definitely not hard but, enough. But, but I look I look at but if you tell, legs, like, like Seth, if, if you at, I, if I wanna, you look at Ronnie Coleman in two thousand one there is no bodybuilder on the face of the planet that comes close to that. Fuck what do you dude. think if Rami? Let's imagine Rami was as shredded as Ronnie. <sighs> don't, you, don't you think you'd have the same appearance? <sighs> no, Ronnie does backwards. that because he's got a pretty small waist for a guy that but, weighs but, fucking. But, but we're talking if we're talking overall everything like Ronnie Coleman's back legitimately I know. hung off of his fucking back. I know. Like whenever the dude yeah. spread his lats, you're like, holy fuck. Like there was just yeah. there's so many things that come into factor. Like when you look at Ronnie Coleman from behind, like from the waist down, he looked like a fucking horse. Yeah, Ronnie looked like, like a, it, Ronnie looked like a guy who was built in the gym as well. Yeah, yeah. freak dude, straight yeah. freak. And yeah. that's why I'm like, I don't know if we'll ever see one because it's like you look at Phil. Phil Heath's fucking phenomenal. Like the crazy yeah. round muscle bellies, the thickness, the density, the pop, everything. And whenever he's off a little bit, everybody's like, oh, he's off. And you're like. Yeah. Going back to the drug thing, then that's something I've noticed. Seem everyone these days seems to be a lot rounder. Yeah, like overall, like even in the amateur leagues, like everyone just seems like everyone's just yeah. Rounder. But I think that's what. But I think that's what people complain about. They don't like the puffy look. Yeah, but like even the people, even when somebody's peeled, they still look just round. Like, is it, I mean, because it's not. I don't think that's. I, don't think, I know everyone's with insulin because, but to be fair, most bodybuilders, I the bodybuilders I know and speak to don't really use it that much. Yeah, it really is that for everyone? Okay, what era are you talking about, though? Rounder than what? Uh, like, I don't know, so he, early 2000s, late 90s, like everyone then was so detailed and striated. Everyone these days just seems rounder and fuller and has less of the... But they, but they still peeled. It's, it's, you know what I mean? It's a different look. Yeah. Ronnie Coleman and Phil Heath, they're both peeled, both look... How many... Here, let me ask you this, Fruwad, you'll know. Luke, how old are you? 31. Okay, so you you know you're in this too. Then you've seen guys from way back in the day when we were teenagers, and how often people used Lasix. Like you're saying they were dry, you're saying they were drier back then, but they were also flatter because they were drier. Yeah, but they were still pretty round. But I mean, you remember diuretics back then were pretty fucking serious. I don't know if people. I don't know because I'm not in the game. I haven't fucking competed in fucking seven years. But like whenever I did, and I went, I went fucking hard with the diuretics. Like that's well, what took me out. So I don't know today, like, I don't know how far the envelope is pushed because let's, you know, well, being honest here, I pushed the fucking envelope as far as I could to get fucking peeled because yeah. I had to, to make weight. Yeah. And then I just ended up looking nuts because, you know, that was, you know, kidneys are my weakness. Like that's, that's where I had my most health problems. But like, I think back then, I think the guys pushed the envelope pretty fucking hard as well. But I'll answer and I don't that. know if that's, if that's <laughs> the guys still part are. of the game or not. Guys are still using Lasix. Guys still use Demodex, Bumex. Really? They still, they still, yeah, this is, I think this is where the difference is. The early protocols for carb loading and water and manipulation and all that were that you would cut your water earlier. Now the, the common theme in carb loading is that you keep your water in. Even the day of, guys are still sipping on water a little bit. And I think that's why the physiques look rounder and bigger. 
But yeah. I also, but I also think that's why they get their puffy look. Yeah, man, I know guys are drinking like four liters of water the day before their show, like get Friday. The fuck out of here! I swear to God. And back in the day, even when I started, like I remember Chad would have me cut my water like Friday morning at nine a.m. And even earlier than that, if it, like before I started, I know the the normal thing to do is to start cutting your water like Wednesday and then cut a little more Thursday and then cut it completely on Friday. Chad yeah. used to have Chad used to have me water load Wednesday, Thursday, and then chop it Friday completely. And um, <laughs> But what I'm saying is now what they do is they don't do the water load, but they just keep the water in. Because even you keep your water in, Luke. Um, it depends. Chris kind of just fucks around with it. It's not if I keep in, it's like three ounces a meal, and I'll have two. I'll have two meals that day. Yeah, but you wouldn't have done yeah. three. You wouldn't have done three ounces back in the day. You would have done zero ounces, right, Seth? Me? Yeah. Fuck yeah! No water. Nothing. Like not a not a drop. Because <laughs> that's because that's how I was too. Like when Chad said, "Cut it." You literally drink nothing until your Christ. rebounds must have been horrendous. They were brutal. They were, they were fucking absolutely they were, horrible. They were, they were. So here's so then right. Talk, 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 talk. So what what happened with you, Seth? And like what happened? Because you keep mentioning kidneys and re, like, well, now we're talking about rebounds. Like what what the fuck? Happened? Oh, my rebounds were horrendous. But the so here's the thing. I had to make weight. I had to make the the 197, 198 and a quarter is what I had to make for light heavyweight when I turned pro, and then I made 202 and then 212. When I had to make 202, it was fucking ugly. It was rough. Yeah. Like, that was the first time that I ever took T3, and Hani was like, brother fucker, you got to. Like, yeah. we're in the shit now. You have to eat the muscle off your body. Because I was ready at, like, 209. Like, I was fucking just peeled. And he's like, you could step on stage, but I had, we had to move, lose the extra weight. And that's whenever it was like we had to get there, and it was through fucking eating the muscle off my body. And that's whenever bodybuilding became incredibly unhealthy, but I didn't give a fuck because I wanted to make the money get paid, get laid, and become famous. That's how, that's how bodybuilding works. That's like the real side of it. So then, uh, but then whenever I did that, like, you got to take the diuretics to make shit. You got to stop drinking water to be peeled, to live up to the standard. And then, like, at the shows, my kidneys, my kidneys fucking hurt. Yeah. Yeah, they just, they didn't feel good. And they in, I was in pain, and I'm like, fuck, dude, this is not good. This is real. This is yeah. actually occurring. You have, like, and, you have um, blood test to, like, show you your numbers. What's that? You have blood test after to show you any of your numbers. Uh, I got after after Dallas. I got my blood work done, and uh, it was like I think I waited five weeks. So I got so my everything would straighten back out, and it still wasn't pretty. It wasn't what, good. But then, well, what's the highest? What's the most amount of weight you've gained in a rebound? Like twenty like, pounds. Oh, that's not that bad. No, because what, what would happen was like my ankle swelled up after nationals. My ankle swelled up like crazy. And then uh, and I was like, fuck, dude, this sucks. And Honey's like, OK, he's like, you have to get back on your cardio. Yeah. He's like vitamin C and distilled water. He's like, you can't. He said, because here's the thing. You're going to look like dog shit. And that's one thing. But he's like, your heart is working overtime. Yeah. He's like, you're starting to put too much stress on your body and it's not good. So it's like for so this is where. I don't know, like everybody today is, uh, uh, I don't know because I'm not in the game, but it's like, they're like, oh, being more healthy. But at the end of the day, like health is important, but how important is it? Do you want to win the fucking show or do you want to be healthy? Like that's that, that's that happy medium that like I was always gung-ho. I was willing to kill myself, which is really fucking stupid. But that's why I look the way I do. But I and that's the scary part why I don't want to go back to bodybuilding because I'm like, yeah, I'll go to the fucking end. Let's go. But I don't know if it's health as much as it. You know what? The, this is the fucked up part. You know, we were talking earlier about how like these scientists are finding like, oh, you don't have to do two hours of cardio and you don't have to eat just fish to get shredded. You know, the water falls into that same category because guys are like, well, you could look better if you keep the water in. And I'm like, yeah, you'd look rounder, but you don't look as dry. And I think that's the difference when you look at 90s, maybe 2000s. Now it's actually really common that people are well, leaving think, water in. The reason why people keep it in is, is, they, is diuretics are, are made to be taken with water. You're not so, in medicine, you're not supposed to take a diuretic and stop. I know that, but back in the day, we used to take a diuretic with zero water and your body yeah, would just that, that, empty yeah. out. I would, I would uh, take the diuretic with about three ounces of water on like a Thursday night when I'm yeah. carb loading because I already began to cut the water. And it's, I mean, the way I did things was old school as fuck because it was 10 years ago, you know? Yeah. Uh, but that was, that was how I, that's how I looked like I did. 
And it's like, you know, and that's the part that like with every show, if you do more shows, you're going to learn more about it. And well, like, like supposedly you, know, you look, they work better with water. Yeah, but, but I'm just saying, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying my theory about why the guys look rounder, but still peeled now, instead of that more jagged look that they had, you know, early 2000s or 90s, is they used to cut water a lot sooner. Somebody Which told I'm me... Somebody told me a story about Momo Benaziza or Samir Benut, I can't remember which one, not drinking any water from like the Wednesday all the way to the show and only getting his fluid, only getting his fluid from fruit. He would eat apples to get the fluid from the apple. And that was the, oh, that's the fucking heebie jeebies. Yeah. <laughs> but like, <laughs> this is, like this is what I think. And it, like I said, it's just my theory. There's, <laughs> there's no fucking scientific fucking, but now people keep water in and I think it gives you a different appearance. So. I, and I, I see. I'd like to say I agree with you, but I don't know because I haven't done it in so long. Yeah, like I don't know personally. Yeah, I just no. think, I think it's as simple as this: if your body fat is gone, you shouldn't. It shouldn't take much to get you dry and peeled anyway. No, no, I'm not saying you can't get peeled. Like I got what? peeled in 2015 for Orlando and Vancouver. That's true. Like shredded glutes, the whole thing. I kept water in. I'm not saying because you kept water oh, really? in. You, yeah, yeah. John Meadows trained me for both those shows. I kept a little bit of water in all the way. I'm not saying you can't get shredded with the water in. I'm saying the reason the muscle looks different is because ah, one one's hydrated and one's not. I thought we were shitting on conditioning again. No, no, I'm not shitting on conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> take it easy, Luke. Take take it easy, Luke. Get old now. <laughs> what did people bust your balls for being for being? A, oh yeah. Oh, no, it's just we we've been through this with Lee Priest. Everyone thinks today everyone's fat, and only in that era everyone was peeled, even though they kind of would not as much as everyone yeah. makes out everybody always remembers the best parts of their era nobody ever remembers the the bad parts of their era so it seems so. that I, I me like i look at it like i i you know i love watching bodybuilding a big old school guy but like there was a big turning point whenever like all of a sudden like coleman with his horse ass and it just fucking this ass was like this big just <laughs> fucking striding went halfway down back. halfway down his hamstring <laughs> yeah, dude. And then all of a sudden, like everybody needed shredded glutes. Like shredded glutes weren't a big thing in the late 80s, early 90s. Like nobody well, that, was showing them off. Is that true, though? Because I think Rich Gaspari was the first yeah, one to have yeah. shredded glutes. But but if you look back, nobody – like today, everybody's like, yeah, my glutes are shredded. Look at my fucking ass cheeks. And they <laughs> and they pull their, their stuff up. Like Sean Ray, like and, – and even Flex, like there was only – like they were only showing the bottom quarter of their ass cheeks where you yeah. saw striations, but it wasn't an emphasis like – me, You're like, right. whenever I'm looking, I'm like, I feel from the top all the way down. And I'm like, yep, all of them are there. And I'm going to show them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't see that being a huge thing from back in oh, the day. I, but... I see what you're saying. As far as presentation goes, you're right. Ronnie was yeah, the first yeah, one presentation. to yeah. trunks in his ass. No, his those trunks were did. normal size. They were 4XL. <laughs> they were the biggest ones they made. That's just how fucking much muscle he had. <laughs> All right, no, I, I mean, gotta, but even you know, I did it too. I, I gotta, was. I gotta ask these questions. I gotta ask this question. This is fucked up. This woman, uh, Ms. Fit Five, says, "Can a woman get benefits of GH if her husband is using it through no. sex? Can it be passed through sperm? Can any cycle a man does affect his partner via sex? Any studies on the topic?" <laughs> look, oral, at Luke, oral, look at Luke's face. <laughs> oral sex and swallowing definitely gives you more growth hormone, sweetheart. <laughs> Mr. Fit Five, you can thank me later. Uh, well, let me just point something out here. For the, uh, have you ever heard of a suppository, right? <laughs> so you have to put that in your anus. Yeah. Your anal. Yeah. Try that. It's yep. anal. Yeah. 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 So that's for the women. It's right? shooting, it's it'll it'll shooting a load. Really better, let your man come in the ass. And that's, be shooting there. a load in the ass is what does it. Is that what yeah, does it? That's why it's, you don't put suppositories so in So a ass. woman, so technically a woman can claim she's natural if her husband just jerks off in her ass. And then <laughs> that's not how it works, man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean. <laughs> I didn't mean Basically, it. Like a, I didn't mean technically. Saying, like a blowjob, that just blowing. Throw it. Like. Just throw it. <laughs> Football. <sighs> You're a fucking asshole. Anyway, can you like? I don't know why people are asking these questions. This is insane. No, no, you fucking knob. That's the answer. I'm not meaning to be rude, but that's ridiculous. It's like saying, if he sweats on you, oh, are you going to turn into him? No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one proper villain says, how can you tell signs if someone has bad genetics? Sorry, say that again? How can you tell if somebody has signs of bad genetics? 
if you lift weights, eat food, work hard, and still look like shit, you're fucked. There you go. Well, even before that, though, I think if you if have... you've done it for about six months, relatively consistently, consistently, and you don't look good, and you haven't, what about, you haven't dramatically changed, then... Yeah. But what about body structure? Like, if you have really narrow shoulders and really wide hips... Well, again, you're not, gonna be able to, you're not going to be able to tell until you actually develop some of it. You can tell I don't like the first... Yeah, I don't like the first... Any I can tell body. you have narrow... You can tell if you have narrow clavicles without yes, fucking training for 10 years. Philippe has narrow clavicles, supposedly. Yeah, he does actually. That's true. So, That's so it's like, I mean, obviously there are people with mental skeletons. You're like, what's up with that guy? Um, we've all seen him down the swimming pool. So I see your point. You're saying you can't tell your genetics. Yeah, you so you've actually put like in some wha- time. You know, like Joaquin Phoenix in the Joker? You haven't seen the Joker. Seth, you've seen the Joker, right? I haven't, no. Fucking hell, right. Joaquin Phoenix just looks, his body's weird in that. Yeah. You can tell yeah, that oh, he's yeah. a skeleton that you can make into a bodybuilder. Someone like that with a weird structure. Tom Cruise, no. <laughs> Tom Cruise could be a good bodybuilder. No, he's all weird looking. He's like he's not weird looking. He's, he's short. He's got this really weird little shoulders like, and this fucking hip bones. He's like, like Seth's height. He's like Seth's height. He could be fu- Seth. Yeah, Tom Cruise could be Seth. Like, he doesn't have like a taper this way. It kind of it kind of square. He's like, his body looks like. Spongy. How do you know what his taper looks like? Have you seen him in a fucking pair of posing trunks? No, I mean his upper body. You've seen him in movies with his top off all the time. It's Tom Cruise but for no reason. He takes his top off in movies. I think doesn't he could be good. like. I think he doesn't could be like good. Seth. He looks great, but he's, he doesn't have the structure to be a bodybuilder. I don't think you know that. I don't think you can say that. I, I can't say that, but it's just what I'm thinking. You asked me, that's the fucking question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just you, trying to like, give it. I think, a, I think you upped your, did you up your dose this week? No. Yeah, it down, seems like down, it. Actually, down, actually. Is it down, actually? Yeah. Why? It sucks. It doesn't I, like I, it. Cause, cause, well, because I've been training with James Hollingshead. Yeah, and for a few a couple of weeks now, we're both dead. What? Wouldn't that mean you want to increase it? Because he's fucking crazy. Wait, so we're both fucked already. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so we thought, well, it's December. I start my contest prep in a few weeks. He starts his off season at exactly the same time. Yeah. So now is the perfect time to start ramping everything down a bit. So we've the training is coming down a bit. We're not going to eat as much food. Just let our body. So when I start my prep, I'll be fresh. When he starts his off season, he'll be fresh. We'll both be rested and fucking ready. Because right. if we carry on training in the next for the way we are for the next two and a half three weeks, I'm going to start a prep feeling fucked. Yeah, you guys are going to beat the shit out of each other. I've been yeah. watching. Yeah, you guys are fucking lifting some serious weight. It's so brutal. He's big too. You're <laughs> almost at you're almost at a five plate incline. I know. Well, that's not my target. So I want to get five plate incline for five to six, and then I want to drop down my second set on four plates for twelve directly like afterwards. That's Seth, did you ever do five plates to incline? Uh, I used to do 455 on when the I was like young, eating like three Enadrol a day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fucking awesome. You eat like three that. Enadrol a day? Yeah. You fucking. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ. I don't think. I did it for like three day, three weeks. I wanted to see what would happen. I tried two a day. what happens. Well, that's a fucking good result. Well, well, the th- we should <laughs> tell, like we should tell people, like, we should tell people don't do three Enadrols a day. It's not. No, so. fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> let us know what happens let's go no, no I, it's I, like it, the thing is that's part of the science experiment like him saying he wants to get fucking five plates for like five six wrecks well can i just point something out like, before i'd go no it's terribly irresponsible to take three and a draw and and seth being like it's fucking amazing i don't know who they're gonna listen to <laughs> yeah but it's it's the, the the problem is is people will go do it it's like uh that's the underlying problem within here that like seth everybody's like oh Seth seems like a level-headed guy. He's got a good family. Yeah. He's a good dude, owns businesses. You all know I'm a fucking lunatic. Right. Like, let, let, can I work. also just point something else out? That's right? why I'm trying to wait, make... Wait, 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 wait. I know, but wait. I'm not doing that. James isn't doing that. We are fucking nowhere near that, and we're both still doing it. So it is possible without. So you don't need the fucking anadrol before you No, out. no, you don't. It was one of those things that I was 23, yeah. 24 years old. Like, you know, it's just what I, I just want to make sure we, we, we preface it with it was only three weeks. I don't want somebody doing like a three month fucking 150 it, it, milligrams it, a day. And my point what was, was, what was, what did I say earlier that I have kidney problems? You yeah, think that's just happening? Yeah, yeah, don't listen, true. don't listen to Seth. <laughs> <laughs> that, that my, point, my, 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 my just point was you can still do it without, you don't need to do it. Yeah, that's I true. Know, I mean, it's, it, this is, this is that thing. Bodybuilding is, so you have three of us on here. Three of us are all crazy in our own way. Every single pro bodybuilder is a nutbag. It's yeah. one of those things that like to get to this point, you got to do some crazy shit. Yeah. It's like 314 fucking pounds. Like, I don't know what that would feel like. I probably would. 
I probably would go to three a day if my stomach wasn't fucked. Because I tried to go on two a day once, and t- at two a day, my <coughs> appetite just hit the shits. I couldn't. Oh yeah, I couldn't I eat no more. I wouldn't. I think the main reason I wouldn't. I don't like it when you can feel what you're using. It's weird. Oh man, I'm the opposite. I, I don't like it. Like when people are like, yeah, trend. I'm like, Ugh. I don't want to feel it. No, I, I love that. Feel. I love that like, feeling. That's why I like like things like Primo, and I'm like, I don't even know if I'm on. I can't even tell. Yeah, see, I like I <laughs> like feeling I like feeling a little I don't really crazy. Know what's going on? I like, like feeling just, I like feeling a little nuts. No, because it's like when people are like, oh, I've done like three anadrol for like three weeks in a row, <laughs> and now I'm fucking I put on like forty pounds. I don't weigh that like forty pounds. Why though? That's the good That'll part. Kill is me. That you feel that fucking. I, if you when you take it, if you take a couple. I, we shouldn't go on about this, but nope. You should just stop right now. Yeah, we probably should. See, look how excited you're getting for that. <laughs> <Because Yeah>. I, <laughs> calm down, calm the fuck down, you junkie. <laughs> I like the fucking feeling. I want to know that I'm on. No, I, I don't. This is, I, I fucking hate it. This is why I always go back to the training is the most important okay, part. Nobody's, nobody's disputing that. No, I know, but they are. And you know they fucking I'm are. not disputing that. What I'm saying is, okay, I like when 315 feels like a plate. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, but yeah. I, I, that, that's what it's like anyway. Yeah, but you're not normal. No, I am. So I've not always right. been this fucking strong. And even I'm today, normal. Look at me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> for the rest of us 315 is fucking heavy most of the time unless you're on a good cycle then it's nothing you're just like repping that shit out yeah i do agree with you but three anadrol a day is fucking mental way too much oh 100 percent. i agree we should never never no. discuss that again are you still there we i don't want to keep seth for too long but we'll um he's like the busiest man in the world we fucked his day so oh, yeah it's okay all right let me ask you this question gymnastics tonight Jacob Cena says your current girlfriend of one year occasionally cries about her ex girl ex fiance that passed away. How am I supposed to digest that? <laughs> this guy's ex, this guy's girlfriend cries about her ex from time to time. Because he's died. It's tragic. Is that okay? Nothing bad happened. Yeah, I think it's okay. What do you think? That'd be happened? really traumatic. Because it's not like it's okay to be sad about that, but she's also okay enough to live with you and love you. But you can still be sad about it. It's like someone in your family's dead. I'm not saying you're wrong. I don't know if I'd be like. It depends when he died. If it was like yesterday, yeah, okay, well. well but you've no, been with but... her for a year, so it's not like she's been cheating on him for the whole year digesting. <laughs> no, what the fuck's the problem, man? So what I'm, <laughs> okay, so that's my point. So I'm saying, if she's been with him for a year, she, should, you know, if he died. So let's say he's been dead. For and you gotta years. think. And you gotta think the boyfriend probably died a year car, before they got together. A car. They died in a car accident 18 months ago. Okay, and then she got so six months went by. Then she got together with this guy. It's been a year yeah. now. She's still crying about him. I don't know. Occasionally, but it's, uh, yeah, she occasionally. I don't think so, out. man. Well, you, I don't. I don't think. I don't think I can deal why with the it. Fuck is the, why is the crying about this guy? He's fucking dead. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're gonna say to her? What are you gonna say? What the fuck well, are you gonna say? I would think that I would be well, so. Well, here's the thing. What does she say? Does she? Okay, here's the gig. So it depends on how comfortable you are as a man. Thing. And everything, but then does she say, "Oh, like he was so much"? He would have never said that to me in this situation. Yeah, see? oh, the sex you with him no, was so I, much I was, better. I was, I was just oh, the like, sex like, was like so how much far better. are we going with this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, how well, far is she going? Well, it I, depends. I it depends how bad the crying is. Like, if a movie comes on what, and there's what? a car accident and the guy dies in the car accident and she sheds a tear, that's okay. Yeah. It's kind of like yeah. a reminder. No, but if I, like, I don't. I, I don't they're think having, if they're having yeah. sex and she starts crying about her ex, it's like. <laughs> that's not the, that's not what the question is. the question isn't when you're fucking her she's like i wish my dead ex was gonna that's not what he's thinking he's just wondering does does like okay so you're both watching tv and she just starts to cry a little bit yeah because well I guess, I, it doesn't explain that far, uh, far. not what you, you i don't know how you brought it back to that which i want to do it was what are you doing seth i have to get over here because my phone's gonna die Oh shit! Okay, we'll we'll just do a couple more. Yeah, no, you're good. Okay, so you think it's okay for the crying? We just want to get a final final note here. You think it's okay that she cries about her ex? It's okay if she uh, if she if she cries as long as she doesn't like continuously like. It it, it depends if she's holding it against him. This isn't even a real question. It's not something that's happening in real life. I don't imagine. I think it is. I don't think. I think if it's like if she's holding it against you and using and and using that in a bad way, that's not good. But if she's just having a little cry to herself and he's like, you're right. And she's like, yeah, I'm just getting a bit emotional. I think about it sometimes. It's still hard for me. That's all right. Okay. 
But not if she was like, his dick was bigger than yours, like mid sex. <laughs> no, that's not that. All right, all right. So uh, Aber or Abnormal Eighty says, busting a nut before training take. Does it take the oomph away or save it for after with the woman? <clears throat> so is it okay to fuck before? I actually before do it. I, okay, well, right. I've experimented. Okay. Don't do it before. Okay, I agree. I agree. <laughs> okay, we uh, we all agree on something. I don't do time. well. I don't do well with it right after either word. So you have to you have to do it after. It's like a warrior coming home from battle, like covered in my blood. <laughs> like, oh, I need my woman. Yeah, <laughs> I don't get the same pump if it's right after. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta wait. I need a little bit of a waiting period. I mean, you it's know, not. That, it's not that I can't. I mean, I'm, I'm saying if I want to be like amazing. You gotta, obviously, you're not going to do it straight after legs. You're going to walk home and your wife's I, like, I, I have. Forward. I have. I have. I have. You're going to be like, fuck off. What do you I, mean? Dude, I'm fucked. I have. I have like, I, with it. I have walked in the door. I can just picture, Sal, I can just picture your missus saying it and you would exactly like you are on the Kevin Laverne video. You're like, ah, all right. Let's go. <laughs> That's your answer. Drink, drink some EVP. He's yeah, going to yeah. go. <laughs> 75 grams of carbs. Fuck <laughs> Uh, uh, no, not doing it before. Mm-mm. No, not before. No way. No way. All right, let's get this one in because I think I need some more ideas. What's your favorite music to tr- to train to? Metal. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write these down. I need a couple couple new plays. <clears throat> Seth, Seth, what's your favorite music to train to? Metal. I know, but can you name a couple bands? Just give um, me two. It's pathetic. I want to hear. What is it like? Madonna? What are you listening to? No, it's it's Metallica. It's old okay. school. That's not like pathetic. Straight, straight old school. I that's go Metallica I, and then like Pantera. <laughs> Pantera, Pantera, I don't yeah. do, but I can do that. Okay, I do Metallica yeah. too. I do Metallica too. It's great. It's really weird. I think a lot of my followers follow me because of music I like, which is weird. Oh, really? Okay, so I post like loads of obscure metal bands, and people are like, "Oh, I love this band," and then they suggest bands to me, and that's one of the coolest things about social media. Give us some, give us a couple of bands ideas. So uh, me, me and well, Seth I just see what up. I was last listening to. Um, what was I? Uh, breakdown of sanity. Uh, wage war architects. <laughs> Kings of Leon. Uh, Kublai Khan. Monuments. Okay. Um, they're all sick. Um, so they're all they're all English bands too. I'm assuming. Not all of them though. Uh, Whitechapel. They're from Texas, I believe. Um, there you go, Seth. Good all American yeah. band. The one I'm, I I do think the best band to train to though is Straight from the Path, especially their last two albums, because they're like Rage Against the Machine on trend. Who is it? Stray from the Path. Like their last two albums, Internal Atomics and Only Death Is Real. Those two albums are so fucking sick. Stray from the Path and Whitechapel. Whitechapel. I don't think you'll like Whitechapel though, Fred. Why? Because that's their screaming's very. <laughs> oh, it's like really, really like out Whereas, there. Yeah, whereas straight from the path are more like a punky ver- a punky metal, <coughs> like, like Ray Jason Machine, right. but heavy. All right, so, it's really good training music. All right, we'll do one more, and then we'll let Seth go. Right. We'll we'll wrap it up. If you can have one superpower, what kind of power would you like to have? Flying. I want to fly. I just think flying would just wouldn't be that good. It'd be fucking great. Wait, <laughs> go anywhere. How fast can you go? As fast as you want. Yeah, but how, how fast, because I've been in a fucking 747 going to America and it takes nine hours. So am I just I like thought, going, <sighs> just across the Atlantic for nine hours, but my eyes are streaming. It's just freezing fucking cold for nine I, hours. So this are we saying right. just one, like you're not Superman, you're just flying? Or this are we saying I mean. like Superman you get one, you get, everything? You get one superpower. Yeah, that's what so I mean. So like, is Superman a superpower? <clears throat> no, no, flying? no, no. You get one aspect of the superpowers. <laughs> I think I, I think I'd like to be able to read minds. Yeah, now I don't want to fly anymore. Teleport. That's what you want, Seth. Yeah. See, you Why teleport. did you tell him what he wants? Why don't you let him tell him tell us what he, he wants? He said flying because he thought it sounded good. But well, you can't change his mind. It's his opinion. Maybe he likes flying. I thought you wanted. Well, you know, whoa, whoa, whoa. the reason you get it, you like you can go anywhere. You can't but go no, anywhere. But, but but also, but the flying part, like I want to fly, like just fly around, like yeah, I'm that's a good. Good bird. That would be fun. Like, it, depends it, it depends if you want it to be like pre- like actually good or fun yeah and then i'd have to be superman for that to occur so now it's out of the question 
for this question. I think you bent too easily, Seth. I think your idea was pretty good to begin with. I think Luke ruined it. No, no I'm the, you said I'm not allowed to be Superman. <laughs> well, you said I can't have all the superpowers. I only get to fly. I can't not, fucking like... I'm just know. reading... I'm not making the rules up. I'm reading the question. If you could have one superpower, what kind of power would you like to have? What's yours, Luke? Um, probably like... if. I, something like I wouldn't be able to get hurt. Like I'd be completely impervious to any oh, damage. Oh, that's a good I'd indestru- one. I'd be completely indestructible. That's really great. Yeah. That's yeah. a good one. See, you Reading know, I, mind is pretty great too. But then yeah. you're going to meet somebody that thinks you're a fucking asshole, and you're going to be like, oh, like, hey man, why do you think that way? About yeah, but then me? I can be. Yeah, but then I can be nice to that guy, and he'll be like, oh, maybe he's not such or an you asshole. Could, or you and, I can, a, and I'd be able to hear him say, that's such a Canadian way to think that. <laughs> I I'd wasn't be, expecting. I would that. be able to hear him say, "Oh, he's not such an asshole," and then I would walk away happy. I thought you. Were, I thought you were going to say something like, "I'll go into his deepest, darkest memories, pull something out that he's terrified of, and say it to his face." <laughs> no, no, I would. I would change his mind. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh well, man, it's all getting old, Phil, because that's not what you said when you were twenty-five. Yeah. Yeah. I probably would yeah. punch him in his face when I was twenty-five. I <laughs> want to be. If I can't fly like Superman, if I like, if I got, get my eyes get all fucked up and I don't have uh, all this power. So Superman, if you if you had all of Superman's powers, would you be a nice guy? Would I be a? Well, I yeah, be awesome. I don't. Well, I see. I right, think you would. The best example of Superman that I've seen on any movie or television is The Boys on Amazon because their their version of Superman is called the Homelander, and to the to the public, he's like yes. But behind closed doors, he's a cunt. Like he's the most fucked up mentally. Mentally, he's just he can do anything in the world that he wants to. I he's think just if you fucked up. I think if what you is were this? Super- what, what what is this? It's, it's a series on Amazon called The Boys. Oh, I heard about this. It's so good. I never watched it. Yeah, it's one of my favorite comics. But in the, in the series, the guy that plays Homelander, he's he goes from Superman to Hannibal Lecter like that. It's oh amazing. shit! That's great. Think that's that's how so if Superman was real, that's how he'd be. I don't think so. I'm excited to watch it. I think, think? If you're, I think if I was Superman, I'd probably be nicer. Really? Yeah, because so would, I wouldn't be. So I wouldn't have so any insecurities. I'd be like, yeah, I know, but you would no. I, I mean, so you wouldn't just think, oh fuck it, I'll just go and take down. I can. You can go and kill. You could go to China and say, oh, you people are skinning dogs alive. I will kill all of you, right now. Yeah, but, that's a, but that's a good thing. It is to some people. To, to them, it isn't. It's yeah, against the law. You're still breaking the law. You're still murdering people. Because mm. that's what I would be like, and this that's is a kind of point. what I'm like a little bit. But I guess fun. then you would be more, in your head, you'd be morally right, but maybe not. Yeah, it's like true. you can't just be like <laughs> North yeah. Korea. I'll sort that out and just nip over and start lazy. Why do you people. keep? Why do you keep being racist towards Southeast Asian people? I'm not really. I'm just. Talk, I'm just talking as a Westerner. <laughs> what we're led to believe is bad by the media, so the rest of Western society can kind of have some empathy with my discussion. Seth, if you didn't but, know. Every episode we have has a little bit of racism in it. So it's always, and it's always Luke that starts. No. What I'm saying is, okay. like, it, I don't like, Korea, like North so Korea. We're okay. With North Korea, they, it's, it's all, they're, they're, they're allegedly terrible. So if I, but what if they're not? And I'm Superman, and I go and kill everyone who are allegedly bad there. Is that good or bad? Yeah, you're right. Well, that just depends if, you're more, if, you, if your morals are better than somebody else's. And you you but then again, it's, it's just murdering people that I perceive bad. It's like if I said terrorists... Yeah, but if I was Superman, I wouldn't go murder the people that were killing dogs. I would just go save all the dogs. Yeah, you'd do both, wouldn't you? That's right. I'd I would do, just... I would, kill them. I would just save all the dogs and then be like, I didn't kill anybody. I'd skin them all alive with my laser vision. And then I'd let the dogs <laughs> eat the skin. It's like, it's like, so, I'd, so, I'd let the dogs eat the crispy skin as like a treat. Whilst they're still alive. That's Seth, are you, happy, are you happy you came on, Seth? <laughs> I'm, I'm loving it. It makes sense. But no, right. it's, it's, so if I, wouldn't be, if I wouldn't fly, I'd be invisible. I'd that's uh, be, be invisible. Invisible was good. There's somebody on The Boys that's invisible as well. And I don't he, watch the show. He, he's, yeah, it's really good. What would be the thing you would do most if you were invisible? Because I used to think this way and I was really creepy about it. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's really <laughs> creepy about it. Oh, go in the girls' changing rooms. What the fuck? <laughs> That's, that is weird. I mean, I'd just be a criminal. <laughs> that, well, that's the next thing would be to do illegal shit. 
just steal yeah. things and fuck people. Like up. a but, smuggler. And, like, but then it's, at, at some point you become like it's all like a super. It's all in, uh, a, 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 I don't. I imagine the boys would go in this direction at some point. Like you do all these fucked up things or have all these fucked up thoughts, but then you'd start to rationalize and you'd start to no yeah. uh, to to normalize to some yeah. degree, like a normal person, and make it good and do good shit, morally right things. Yeah. So I'd probably do some fucked up things like I do now, and then do a lot of good, as much good as I could do. But then More good and right. bad is like relative to the person. That's what I mean. Yeah. So like, I like to think I would be a good person, but I probably wouldn't be if I was able to do whatever the fuck I wanted. That's why, that's why Lex Luthor hates Superman so much, because he's like, like that much power corrupts, and you will be eventually become so corrupt we can't stop you. So he's trying to kill Superman before he gets to the point. You're where way, you're so far into comic book shit, it's crazy. Yeah, because they've been around for fucking fifty years. <laughs> it's really cool though. That was making a lot of sense. <laughs> that, I mean, you all, you all know Lex Luthor wants to kill Superman, and no one is like, well, why? That's why, because he thinks he has the potential to turn like that, and if he does, we're all fucked. Yeah, but he hasn't, and he still wants to kill him. Yeah, it's been a long time, and it go, over it, Lex prick. <laughs> <laughs> all right it's been an hour and a half we're gonna wrap this fucker up seth any, anything you want to uh tell everybody while you're here i'm gonna do the i'm gonna do the fucking burger challenge i'm gonna see how it goes and i'm gonna come back and talk shit and i definitely you guys think you can do it. I, I think i think you should do it too luke <sighs> i'm so sick of food man I think uh, the donut thing would be good to see you do. I want to see you do the donuts. I could life. definitely, the burgers, I could eat more. I could do more pizza than, or savory food than donuts. Okay. Oh, so, yeah? Huh. Yeah, I'm a more of a savory guy. Well, he's doing what? Four, four or five guys burgers? Yeah. I'm going to push for five. I'm gonna, I think I can do four, but like you said, like, there's going to be that point when I'm like, when I'm like oh, fuck. I yeah. think I'll be able to mow through three. I think I'll be able to just fucking. Yeah, I, don't think th I don't think three is going to be a problem at all. Yeah. Okay. No, three, 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 like when you eat, finish the third one, you don't want the fourth one at all. When are you filming? <laughs> yeah, when are you, that's, that's, I'm going to force the fourth. When are you filming that? Probably early next week. What do you think, Luke? You want to do it? Yeah. Okay. I'm so we should. Like not eat, I'm going to have to like not eat for like two fucking But days. you're going to film it and put it on YouTube, right? Me? Well, well, yeah. Well, well, I know you are. I'm saying, Luke. Well, I'm actually, I've now brought somebody on officially with a contract in place and everything to do my YouTube channel. So I'm going to actually, oh, really? I'm, I'm now putting a lot of time and money into my own channel as well now, which will probably okay, right. start when I can be fucked. It's this near Christmas. I'll wait. Uh, probably after Christmas, I'll do. <laughs> Too near Christmas to start fucking around with opening and starting new businesses. So I'll wait till after Christmas. January starts, prep starts. My YouTube channel is probably not going to be that good, but I'm going to try and make it. Okay, really but you're going to get someone to film next week. Yes, I am. Ben's here. Me and Ben will do it. That's right. So just yeah, okay. We'll do, we'll do that. Me and Ben will do like he, he won't do it. But actually, no. Ben could do it, but he was shits on Five Guys. He right? Is Ben wrong for saying Five Guys is not a good burger? That's horribly wrong. Five Guys right? is amazing. It's good fucking awesome because he's so fucking like he loves a gourmet burger. Yeah, well, there's nothing wrong with that. But Five Guys is an awesome go-to. It's just a really good. It's just a, just a fucking burger, man. Yeah. 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 Like, what do you want it to taste like? A burger? All right. Well, that's the best one. He he wants the extra extravagant shit with like at a yeah, restaurant totally with like yeah. But he just but he just doesn't really like it, which is huh? but he's the only person I know that doesn't really like it. So have him hold the camera while you fucking stuff your face. I want him yeah. to do I want him to do the challenge as well because Ben's a big eater. Is he? Yeah. Okay, so what is the challenge? How fast you can eat four or how many you can eat? God, you just have to be able to finish them. No. <laughs> no. I haven't done anything over I don't even fucking I don't know how far I'm gonna get with this. So it's just I'm trying to get four. So it's just eat four in one sitting. That's it. That's the challenge. So four, that's it. I'm mm -hmm. the, I need to get four. Like that was my goal. But how, do I'm we, thinking, but how do we judge a winner? Is it just if you can do it or not? Well, I guess we're gonna I'm, I'll time it as well, but I'm, well, I'm not if, up if against we, if, we all, if we all finish it then it's like not really a winner, is it? What does the winner get? Five guys. You got to put the time on it too. That's what I'm saying. You got to put okay, the time okay. on it. Yeah. So we got speedy as well. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm fucking starving. I'm going to go tonight and do this shit. Yeah, you are. Oh, you fat prick. I'm stuffed. Yeah. I well, said like 200 grams of carbs about 10 I've been, I've been eating zero carbs for like a week and a half. I'm fucking starving. Yeah. Four oh, burgers away from diabetes. <laughs> diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Listen, it's been awesome. Thank you guys very much. Thank you, Seth, for coming on as a special okay, guest. Thank you, guys. And let's uh, let's reconvene after we all do the challenge. After burger. Yeah.
even if it's just a short one, just for 20 minutes to talk about how shitty it was trying to stuff down a bunch of food. Imagine if we did it straight afterwards and all of us are just like... <laughs> 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 Like instantly afterwards, we should all do it on air like this. No, that's what I. That's what I want to do. That's no, why. Do you know why that would be horrible? Because you'd leave the podcast, and all it would be is just like forty minutes of. Well, I would just. Yeah, but um, I would just fast forward it. We could start, and then I would hit fast forward, and, yeah, and then it would just sound like. <laughs> that looks like fucking squirrels eating. It's all right, weird. fine, fine. We'll this is gonna be soon. rough. We'll do them separate. So okay. We just want to do it and go, and go on our own channels, and people have to go into our own channels. Are we going to do, it. if we can, I'll do the four, but if I can get five, I'm going to eat five. Yeah, fucking right. But are you going to have five ready, or are you going to eat four and order another one? No, no, no. There'll be five ready. Yeah. Okay, I'll get five ready. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to do five, man. You see him pulling those vacuums? This guy doesn't eat fucking big food. Yeah, but you, um, What's the highest? What's it. the highest calorie meal you've eaten in the last couple of years, Seth? Me? Yeah. So last last year I was two forty. I was like two forty nine last year. I yeah, were you, but were you stuffing down big meals? Because like That's my reg, I, my regular cheat meal when I was in like the height of my off season was like five thousand calories. I win one meal, one sitting. Yeah, that's oh. like, that's that's like a large pizza and a couple of tubs of ice cream. Yeah, a large <laughs> pizza. Usually a large pizza with a brownie pizza. And then, like a tub of ice cream afterwards. That's a snack. That is not a big meal. Well, a large pizza and a brownie. And ben the, brownie and I, the brownie pizza is like a medium. Well, Ben and I together have done two large pizzas and four sides, and a, and an ice cream and two bottles of Coke each. 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 You ate two large pizzas. Yes. And what? Hundred percent. And uh, four sides. Okay, and, and large. I, maybe he didn't know. I've definitely done this more than once. I don't believe you. And ice cream. Wait, what's, what size are that, the large what's large pizzas in the UK? Like ten inches I around? No, probably like, I think I'm like twelve, maybe. That's a fucking medium here. I'm forty. Okay, well, that's why then, isn't it? It's okay, well, I, well, I can eat two mediums. That's not hard. It's not a medium. So I check. I'm gonna check online. I'm gonna double check. <laughs> <laughs> check Domino's. I just how big is a large Domino's pizza? Large Domino's. Large. Okay. I don't okay. dispute that they're bigger. Where you Listen, are. Luke, Seth has a real life. So we should let Sorry, him. No, I want to listen this to this. Is oh, Seth's Seth's life. Life. Fuck off, Seth. Seth. Wait, wait a second. This is right. way more important. How large? I'm, it's, oh, it's 13 and a half inches. Yeah, that's like a medium. Yeah, you know that, for that. That's a medium, dude. Okay, well, there's, I can still eat two of those, four sides, two ice creams. Um, what are the sides? Like chicken wings and chicken bites or like garlic bread, that kind of shit. All right, I want to see you do it, and then I will, I will beat it. I know you'll beat it. I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not saying it's that impressive. It is impressive. That's a lot of fucking really. food. That's, that's a lot of food, impressive. dude. Yeah, that's really impressive. Yeah, I, I probably can, I probably won't beat it. I will try and think, match it. I think you can. I've heard tales of your eating for that. No, I think I think it's honestly those are myths. I don't eat that much. Really? Well, not anymore. I can't eat like I used to. Yeah, I can't either. When I was your age, no. I could fucking pound back the food. And, and, uh, right, sorry, Seth. Before you, can you, did you used to be able to eat more than you can now? They used to eat more than I could now. Could, like your capacity for eating. Has oh, it fuck down? yeah. Well, I mean, last year, whenever I was training, I was still doing my cardio in the morning and then training my balls off. I was eating about 38 to 4,200 calories a day. And then my big days were like six to seven. Yeah. Like I would eat two Five Guys burgers and then go eat ice cream afterwards. Could you, like, could you still do that now consistently? Or would your appetite be like, no? If, but that right now, no. I'd have to get back into it. Like That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm worried about him. I'm, because I'm going <laughs> to cheat as much as possible on this. On this I just think so I'm just so how are you going to, how are you going to cheat? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> I'm going to train my balls off right before I go do it. I'm going to smoke a big fucking doobie and I'm going to take a ton of growth hormone and then I'm going to go in and eat all the food. <laughs> he's he's going to sit there and jabble at a slit and just wait until, uh, wait until the hypoglycemia kicks dies. in. Go. <laughs> That's, that's not a bad strategy, actually. That's like, actually, actually that would work. That would actually like, work. <laughs> it, like a fire under your ass, like no wonder. Like, that would actually fucking work. I've never eaten so much as when I've been hypoglycemic. This oh is fuck stuck. yeah! Just, I mean, just oh, like a fucking, just like a starving fucking, like like a rabid <laughs> I'm fucking die. dog. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Yeah, gonna die. like a rabid dog, just like ah, I'm gonna fucking, and then um, I can't stop. I'm just gonna no. ask the milk. I'm just gonna ask whoever's making milkshakes that day. If, if I get to the last one, I'm like, it's just fucking heavy. I'm like, can you chuck that in the blender, please, mate? And then I'll just a blended Five Guys mm. burger. Yeah. Mm. I should have told you that. Fuck. You know, guys used to do that all the time, eh? The blended tuna shakes and the blended chicken. Oh you know, yeah. Eddie Abu, Eddie Abu, one of your UK counterparts there, does used to taught me about the chicken shake. 
I he, used to, he would do that. He used to boil. He used, to, he used to boil. He used to boil his chicken, and then he would put his chicken and his rice and like whatever vegetables he wanted in the fucking blender with a little bit of water, blend it, and he all his meals. He said he just got sick of eating. He said he would just drink his fucking chicken. Oh my gosh! Yeah, man, that's hardcore. Mm. That's- <laughs> well, welcome, welcome to the fucking psychopaths. Yeah, you know? <laughs> have you never done that? Have you never done that? I've never done a tuna shake to, or used, a chicken shake. I used to do it on purpose because I did it once because I was stuffed and I actually liked it. So I made that meal like. So what I did is I'd mix it with a tin of like tomato soup, and yeah. then put my meal in it, and then just have it in like one of those hot. Like, yeah, 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 thermos. Thermos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A thermos, yeah, and then just kind of just be like having a chunky soup. That's not, not a bad idea. idea. That it works. doesn't sound that bad. It was pretty good. It was so much easier than sitting there like I couldn't do I, I couldn't do a tuna though. I've heard guys doing a tuna. That's disgusting. Well, you, put, you just put enough Tabasco in that. It's great. Have you done tuna too? Yeah. Oh. It must tuna, be like, tuna, tuna and vegetables with like tomato soup with like some Tabasco and like other stuff. It's not really not too bad. It must be a UK thing. Maybe. Yeah. Anyway. Um, okay. So next week, five guys. Yep. yep. All right, we'll do it, and then we'll reconvene for like the week after. Some we'll talk about it. Yes. All for sorry, it. I'm sorry, ready. Seth, for keeping you. We've, uh... Okay, Fuck Seth. No, I had a good time. This was great. Thanks for coming on, dude. I appreciate it, man. See you soon, man. Okay, gentlemen. I'll see you. All right, we'll talk soon. All right.